Today we are going to go over the ultimate Solana NFT guide. If you watch my videos, you'll know that I am super bullish about these NFTs and these different ecosystems outside of Ethereum. In this video, you are going to learn about the different wallets you need, how to fund those wallets, the marketplaces, how to find these drops, and the different tools I use to make some money. Now let's get into it. First things first, guys, you are going to need a wallet to help you make all these different transactions. The best wallet out there for Solana is Phantom. It is on the Chrome store and I'm also going to have these links in the description. Once you have your Solana wallet set up, you're going to have to deposit Solana into it. So instead of trying to bridge it and do all this complicated stuff, you're much better off going on an exchange that allows direct deposits into that blockchain. As far as KuCoin goes, literally all you have to do is you have to click on your Phantom wallet at the top. You are going to have this load and there's going to be a managed token list. If you haven't done this yet, uh, you're gonna have to search up Solana, right? So you just click this, you're gonna search up Solana and you're gonna add it. Now all you have to do is you hit deposit. You're gonna be depositing Solana. This is going to give you your wallet address. You copy that, you paste that wallet in. It's showing that the network is in fact Solana. And now I'm going to be able to send that Solana over. Now that your wallet is funded, there are two different marketplaces that primarily are having these different Solana NFTs. The first one is called Magic Eden. They have a launch pad that a lot of these good projects actually use. Now, this is something you have to be very careful with, guys. There is so many scams and honeypots and just crap on Solana that you really have to be careful getting into the right project. As someone who's an experienced trader, I fell for one of these scams. I wasn't paying attention. I uh, had gotten one of these bot keys. I'll, I'll tell you guys about it later in this video, but I literally lost over $3,000 off a scam literally two weeks ago. So be very careful when you are on these different sites. For example, if I go to collections, this bot borgs thing, there might be five versions of this and the real one isn't even there, right? So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to make sure that you're paying attention to launch had for the most part, and if it has already launched and you're trying to buy on the secondary, make sure that it is actually the right project. I would go to their Discord or their official Twitter, and I would see their official links to their actual marketplace so you know you're getting the right thing. Don't be like me and get burned buying a copy from some mean person. On Magic Eden though, usually the prices are a little bit higher than the other competitor, but you can click on these different projects, for example, and it's like a lot of different marketplaces where you can have these different filters and, and see all these different projects, and you'd simply be able to click on one, connect your Phantom wallet, and purchase it. The second marketplace is Solana Art. Once again, be very careful to make sure that you're getting into the right projects, but you can simply click on these projects. It's very similar. One thing I like to do is I like to compare the price on both marketplaces. Sometimes Magic Magic Eden might be more, sometimes uh, Solana art might be less, right? So if I can maybe pick up a bot board, for example, at 3.2, and then on Magic Eden, it's going for 3.6, it's much better for me to do that on Solana art as far as purchasing and then when I go to sell it, maybe I sell on Magic Eden. So it's important to use multiple marketplaces, guys. A lot of times there can be a, a pretty significant difference in price and you can make money just off that gap. There's been a few circumstances, especially in Cardano, where I've been able to get NFTs at a 20, 30% discount just because I got it on one marketplace versus the next. So always make sure you are checking both marketplaces. As far as finding these actual projects, now that you know about the marketplaces, there's a few things you can do. One, on Magic Eden, they show that launch pad so you see upcoming projects. Two, NFT Calendar is a really great site. It has all of the different blockchains on here and it is showing all of these projects that are coming out. So this is a very good starting point as far as looking at projects, ex getting exposed to them, and then doing your research on them. Another great place to find these upcoming projects is called Soul Analysis. They have an upcoming tab and you'll be able to see all of these different mint details and click on the projects and just get a little bit more information on them. There are also four different Twitter profile accounts that I like to follow that do a pretty good job at shouting out these different projects. So one of them is Soul Brain. Make sure to give him a follow. Crypto Bits does a good job at posting all of these different projects. Once again, guys, this is not just so you can buy them, but so you can research them, right? It kind of gives you uh, like a, a path to go on to find these different projects and at least 
be exposed to them, right? Another one is Easy Eats Bodega. He does a lot of stuff about these Solana NFTs as well. And the fourth one that I would follow is called Solana Sensei. I like this guy a lot. He does uh, a lot of different threads and just puts, puts good information out there as well as shouting out different projects. Regarding analysis tools that I use, Soul Analysis is great as far as giving you an overall picture of the market. So for example, it not only tells you the overall market cap for Solana NFTs, but it shows you the market cap for each of these projects. It shows you their price change, the average price, the floor price. I can sort this by volume too. So let's say I wanna see something that's been going up a lot in price recently, 888 Anon Club. So maybe I look into this. Maybe it's already gone up too much in price, but it's interesting that the price has gone up so much. Has there been some sort of important news coming out? Did they just launch recently? Did some big influencer shout them out? This is a really good tool. I don't think enough people really use analysis when it comes to buying NFTs. They're just like, oh, this looks cool, and they don't go into depth about the actual numbers behind it. You need to see something that is having good volume. You need to have see something that is, if you're buying on the secondary market at least, that you think is going to increase over time because volume is increasing over time. You don't want to get into a project where volume is down, let's say 80%. Like if I go over here, I mean the volume's just down so much. Anytime the volume is down this much, I mean that project's pretty much dead in my eyes a lot of times. Just because when volume is dropping this much, it's it's kind of like, oh, this was just a pump and dump thing where people were trying to flip it and make money. And this isn't going to be something sustainable in the long term. 10 to 30% swings are fine, especially in the NFT world. But anything more than that, I would be very sketched out by. Another great analysis site is called Soul Radar. It's very similar to Soul Analysis where it has these different projects and it shows the volume. This is just nice to uh, basically just see a little bit more information. Sometimes they'll have things on here that Soul Analysis doesn't have yet. The last tool I use is called How Rare Dot Is. Basically, this is a rarity tool. So I can go to any project, for example, Boryoku Dragons, and I can do different filters to see the different ranks as well as price and rarity. So if I sort by price, I can see the different prices and I can also see their rarity rank. So for example, this guy's rank 575 as far as rarity out of this collection. The last thing I really wanted to bring up, guys, is that this Magic Eden marketplace gets botted to heck. Like it is very hard to get into these different projects that are launching on the launch pad without using a bot. It's not impossible, but like I said, it's very botted. One of the big bots that you can actually buy is called CyberKeys, and it has a floor of about 22.5 Solana. So basically, if you own one of these CyberKeys, you get access to their bot that helps automate the process of actually getting into these projects. I actually just bought one of these two days ago. So I'm gonna let you guys know if this is actually worth the investment because it is around $2,200, dollars um, But basically it just helps automate the process. And there are also different tools and alpha groups out there that these different alpha groups such as Soul Illuminati will give you different information if you pay for a monthly membership or if you buy their NFT or whatever the case is. So that's also not necessarily a bad idea into really getting an in-depth view at different projects that you think are going to do well. So just to, just to summarize my overall all process here. I'll go on these different Twitters and different sites to basically help me find these different projects. A lot of the good projects are dropping on Magic Eden, so I'll be able to see on their launch pad what's dropping. I'll then go through their website, their Discord, all of that stuff, and I'll make sure that it is not only the correct drop, but I'll make sure that I like it and I think it's worth investing in. You can get uh, different opinions from people on Twitter if it's worth investing in. You can subscribe and like to me, and I'll give you my opinions. I'm going to be covering Solana NFTs a lot more, as well as Cardano NFTs because I think that is the biggest opportunity in the market right now. So make sure to follow and subscribe to me. But then once I like a project, I'll try to get it on Magic Eden. Hopefully the bot is going to uh, help my chances a little bit more. But if it but if it doesn't and I'm not able to get in right away, you can always buy on the two marketplaces, either Magic Eden or Solana Art. Make sure that you're getting the best deal because some of them can be cheaper, cheaper or more expensive than others. And then lastly, those different tools that I use will help me get a better analysis as far as the volume going in, the overall market cap, the growth, how things are looking, as well as give me a better chance at getting good rares near the floor because I usually buy the floor but what I'll do is I'll use that rarity tool and I'll just see okay well I can actually get one that's 30% more rare for only 2% more so I'll get that one so a lot of times I'll use that tool but how rare is just to make sure that I'm actually getting the best deal possible the better the deal you can get in the beginning the better off you are because sometimes you can make money off the rip even if the project doesn't grow in a long term just because you were able to find a 
really good snipe. That wraps up the video, guys. If you learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the block. But I hope everyone here has an awesome day.